and welcome everybody to yet another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cube. I was gonna say we should call it CB Sphered, but that didn't make sense, so. It definitely wouldn't have. It wasn't even close. Yeah. There's nothing globular about this. Nothing globular at all. Except for the audience. Oh! oh! As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the Wheel of Energy. Let's Jay, will you do, do the it. honors? Bam, all right. We are on season 11, month two, week two. And what is our type advantage going to be? I bet you anything dark teardrop. Oh my God, it is. What? That is so weird. Oh my gosh. The odds are in darkness's favor. So odd. I know, Mike, that, that, that baffles my mind. We have 38 contestants today. Yet again, we don't need to move Umbreon, so. That's nice. Uh, are you ready to kick things off? Let's do it. Let's All break right. a box. Our leader is still at 110 points. You want to let him know about the randomly chosen common chase cards? I sure do. Today's randomly chosen common chase cards are going to be Matang, Shift Tree, and Meditite. So go. again, no uh, extra bonuses on the dark types there. Matang, Shift Tree, Meditite. There's a first like three packs where I need to like really like digest them. I know. Yeah. And then at some point you'll be like, we're gonna get like 30 packs, like 20 packs in, and it'll be like, oh, there's Matang. Don't I know. Yeah. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah. Quick. we haven't seen one all day. I know. All right, next the first contestant of the day is Jupiter Fox, all who right. is coming into the season with just eleven points for Team Grass here. Or sorry, three points. Season eleven with three points. I was gonna say, wait, that's not what my note says. That's not what it says. All right, we have got Eyeball, Eyeball Energy, Energy Sizzlepeed, Meryl, Golet, Elgium. So Caddy, Explorer's Guidance, Iron Hands. Oh, critical hit on the Elgium. There we go. The Latias, and that's the Mel Metal. Oh, oh no. my god. No, Mel Metal strikes so early. This is what was happening last week, I feel like, as well, where like the Mel Metal is the least valuable card, which it wouldn't have made as much sense for Jupiter Fox having three points right. coming into the day. Not exactly like looking for that. Um I last know. place. It's just trolling now though, because you hit the critical hit. And you think, oh man, what am I gonna get? And then it's just the Mel Metal. It's just How? literally the least valuable. I can't color. believe this is the least valuable one too. I like, I love Mel Metal as a Pokemon. I think it is awesome. It is like a mythical Pokemon that Ash just had on his team in a regular season. Like, cool, cool, but cool. no, just apparently two, not. Two cents. Two cents. Is that it? Two? I think it's two. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. All right, next up is Marcos, who is actually coming in uh, with a pretty strong opening pack of seventeen. So okay. Okay. So Marcos has got got some uh, potential. You know, Marcos hit some pretty um, like pretty solid packs. We've got six, fourteen, eight, five, twenty-eight. So so yeah, I'll, like yeah. regularly like putting down some solid numbers. So yeah. We got the Fireball Energy, the Ponyta, Chitat, Cottony, Carvana, Iron Valiant, Rescue Board, Ribombi, the Poochie yeah, Animal. We'll score. Score. Oh, the there's dearling. the Deerling. Okay. I was right. You are right. So last week we have the. Um, the evolved version facing this <laughs> yeah, way, which is, which is escaping our minds. Oh, I thought for sure you had it. I, I know. Like, I'm like, I do. I like this Pokemon a lot, and it is, it is like escaping me. Not Stantler. That's the other deer Pokemon. I, know, I was thinking Stantler as well. Oh, oh my gosh. Not, I feel so dumb. This or is such a, it. such a terrible showing. Oh okay. my gosh. Number 165 on the set, either which way. Let's take a peek and see if maybe the card we're looking for Sauce Buck. Sauce Buck. Sauce Buck. Okay, so the Deerling is going to be coming in at five dollars twenty nine cents, so just a little bit less than the uh, the evolved form. All right, so six, six, seven, eight points. Eight points. Yet again, Marcos putting up solid numbers. People stepping into this show, being like, "You guys have a Pokemon show, a Pokemon set." 
on the internet. And, and you opened it last week. And, and you, you opened it last week and can't remember the name we of even, the Pokemon. We even put Saucebuck on Harry Potter's team as our, like, what would Harry's Pokemon team be? You're right, <laughs> as, you're right. As prongs, and it was like, oh, man. Come uh, on, come on, us. Well, there you go. Anyway, I do like Saucebuck. It's, it's a cool Pokemon, but anyway. Next up, we have got Bay Positive. My turn. I think it's your turn. Yeah. Yeah. Bay positive. I was for a second. I was like, is this Bay stated? And it's not. It's Bay positive. Bay positive. Bay positive. Different. Different patron. Different Bay. Yeah. Different Bay. You know. Oh, dark teardrop. We got there the we multiplier. Go. Okay. Here which means go. a Mel Metal in this pack. Probably right. We have the Mall Wild. Oh, the Metatite's gonna score. The Turtonator will not Latius. Iron Treads. The Drill Bird. The Breloom will not score. And the Iron, iron Leaves. leaves. Okay. Which I want to say though. Like, the other Iron Leaves are pretty valuable. This one, I think, is maybe not so much. It's the most valuable card on the front page. Well... We'll give it that accolade. $2.27. We'll round okay. up to three, three four, four times two is eight. You know what? Something out of almost nothing. Something out of bay almost positive. nothing. Bay positive. Way you to got, go! You got a bay positive. Exactly. There we go. Let me throw this in a sleeve for you. Did you say sleeve? I said sleeve. Yeah, with a B. Nice, nice. And there we go. All right, next up. We have got Mod Squad Doe. Doe. Here we go. For Team Fire, who is currently in uh, the lead of the team competition with 212 points, followed closely by Team Water with 202. Right. Now, so, I know Doe's son has been a champion before. Yes. But yeah, Chase has can, won. But can Doe do it herself? Let's see. Let's see. So we'll set that guy aside. We'll do that. Jay will be signing that oh, Scyther that's for you. Scyther. What? We got the Sizzlepede, the Merrill, the Golet, the Full Metal Lab, the Go Lurk, the Shaman, the Metagross will not score. The Go Lurk will give you a critical oh, hit. Oh, oh no! no the trolling is so what? real. Oh my no. gosh! So just two points. Two points on the so that's back to back two point packs for uh, Doe and the uh. Mel Metal strikes down another critical hit, just absorbing them. This is like when you were playing the game as a kid and it would be like critical hit, but you did three damage and you're like, I don't understand what critical it's, hit it's means. Like, what, what do you mean by critical hit? Sometimes critical hit seems good and this time it seems nothing and you're it's like super effective it's like yeah. no it is not yeah it's like yeah it was a critical hit but they had high resistance and you did low damage so it was still basically nothing still basically nothing yeah it took yeah. me a while to figure out critical hit as a 10 year old but you know there we go apparently i was just fighting a bunch of mel medals that were just spiking me to the ground there you go there you go anyway next up we have ethereal squirrel me to you it's yeah me. yeah it's you. i can't remember these things you got this you got it all right, F Squirrel, what do we got? We have seven points coming into today's match. So back in season seven, Ethereal Squirrel had 64 points, which Yo. had to be highly competitive for had a one-pack season. Right? All right, let's see. We've got bam and bam. We've got the water energy, so no multiplier. The Melton, ugh. Arbok, Minchino, Morty's Conviction. The, the Shift 3 will score. Go. Bianca. Oh, the Minchino, the critical hit. So we have at least a multiplier, the Meryl and the Relicant. Relicant. So it's going to be, I think, a six-point pack overall. Yeah, I think one, two, three times two is going to yeah. be six. Well, that's not nothing. That's up to 13 points, you know. Yeah, I feel like we're actually, like, having, like, a pretty solid points day. Nothing we've got two, that. eight, eight, two, six. Like. We, have, we have three critical hits on the day and a type advantage already, and only two of them have been spiked by Mel Metals. Not that the Relicant is much better, but the Mel Metal feels a lot worse. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. It's, it's like insult to injury. Yeah, it's kind of the villain of the season. And dare yeah, I say. Yeah. Alright, next up we have got Benjamin Harden. Alright, a fellow Ben. Ben we go. for Ben, I got you there. Do you go by Benjamin? Long form, all eight letters. There you go. I always thought this was like interesting, like a naming convention when we were kids, because your name Jonathan and yeah. my name Benjamin both have eight letters. It's true. And I was like, well, surely mom and dad did that on purpose. But then yeah. we have a younger brother named Tyler, and he doesn't have eight letters. Yeah, in his name, unless so. you're spelling Tyler really weirdly. Right, yes. Which is possible. I mean, maybe some people do it that way. If the Ekans will score, the Turtwig will not. The Pugiana will score. score. The Wiglet, the Hand Tremor, weird card. Weird card. Rapska, Iron Juglius. The Slugma will not score. The Matang will, will score. score. Four, yeah. And the Whimsicott. So Bam. one, two, three, four, making something out of nothing. Four points for Benjamin Harden. There you go. Doing our best. Uh, we Ben's got to stick together, you know? That's right. So we've seen all the, I think we've seen them all so far now, right? All, the, all of our chase that? cards. We thought it was going to take forever, but We it did. I really thought the Matang was going to be hiding, but we found it. But not, we found more Mel Metals than we have Matangs. Think about that. Think about that for a second. Yeah. Sometimes right. it, I think last season we had the same issue where it's like there's so few rares, it's like it almost makes sense. It almost makes them more common yes. in a weird way. 
Yeah. All right. Well, next up we have Jeremy coming in with two points. So that's a rough spot to be. Two is a is a lonely number in this game because you're sort of out of last place contention and you're you're not really close to anything else. So the best you can really hope for is something huge. Something huge, which is what I you know personally yeah. I'm always hoping for. Even right. when we're competing for the bottom. Oh, the buddy oh, buddy pop. Buddy buddy pop. It's pretty solid start. The Sable is gonna score as well. The Center Scorch will not, and the Macargo. Oh man, so five points. Five point pack there gonna get you to seven on the season and a buddy buddy pop into. You know, share with your buddies. Exactly. Your buddy buddies. I am really like blown away though. Like, I mean, the the pack numbers seem like they're skewing a slightly higher. higher today. Which yeah, is last, last three packs are six, four, five. So. Yeah. That's that's it's surprising too because it's the same type advantage. Right as last week. So yeah. There's nothing really has changed. And maybe the week before. Have we had three Umbreon weeks in a we row? Have, that's yeah. unbelievable. All right. Well, next it's up is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you did it better than there me. We go. Yeah, yeah. I thought of it, but you finished it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We have got on the table Vincent. Vincent for Team Fire. Who must have gone early in the game because I wrote down there. They got two points, but I wrote down the the scent number. So we must have thought like, oh, well, let's uh, keep track of it now, just in case. Just right. in case. Yeah, you but never clearly out of the running. Got the LGM, the Melton, the, the, the Nuzleaf, the Minchino, mm -hmm. the Cipher Maniacs, the Vikavolt, the Great Tusk, the Shaman, the Delma. And all the one trio. trio. All right, so at least a full art card one number trio. sixty on the set. I don't think it's I worth a lot. I want to say it's a dollar anyway. It's thirty three cents. Thirty three so cents rounds up to one dollar. Yeah, you can get like almost a whole play set for under two dollars. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Well, there you go. Either which way, never a sad day to get a full art card. So there this will be go. in the mail, headed your way. There you go. All right, good job to Vincent there. Next up, we have Ek Sko. Nailed it. Yeah, you're welcome. It's always you too. I know it is. You're, well, because I. I read the cards. Well, you read the cards, but I feel I feel like you always are also opening. Well, for... In case go, you know we have an understanding. Right. Good, right. Yeah. Yeah. You guys. Go they with understand. That. Right. Yeah, like it doesn't matter how you say my name, Jay. Everything's fine. I'd still rather you. It's a running gag. Like they've they've achieved internet fame. Exactly. Due They're to like, mispronunciation. Exactly. Like if we yeah. were all ever playing box breakers live in a room, we'd get to EKS go and everyone'd be like, "What?" what? And then they all pull out their air horns. Yeah. <laughs> And then the cops will come and be like, guys, we're just playing cards. Yeah, come on. Let's play it's here. fine, it's, it's fine. Let's keep it keep it down to a, a dull roar. Right. All right, we've got Rockruff, Litten, Rillor, Ponyta, Iron Jugulus, Lycanroc, Salvatore, Grubbin, the Haunter will score, and the Dunsparce will score. So, unfortunately, only going to be two points there for EK Sko. There we go. I do love that Haunter, though. Yeah, it's that's a good art. It's kind of neat. It's very good. Like a very, like, old school vibe to it. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Next up on the table is going to be Becky Borst. Becky Borst. Here we go. Coming in with four points on the season. Becky has put up big numbers in the past. We've seen it. 12, 26, 44, 24. Well, those are some season totals, I guess. All right. But like, even so, good season totals. Yeah, absolutely. Like, always been in yeah. contention. Yeah. Yes. So we got the Meltan again, the C Dot, the Totodile, the Deerling, the Full Metal Lab, the Golurk, the Shaman, the Colossal will not score, the Mr. Mime will not score, and oh, the, the Flutter Main. Oh no, just a single point. But you know what? Just based on Becky's history, it means her third pack will probably be good. That's exactly right. Because Indeed. she has not in any three points, any three. Pack season, she has never scored less than 24 points. That's unbelievable. That's crazy. That is, yeah, that's a very impressive showing. Yeah, impressive. So there you go, Becky. Fluttermane coming your way, and we look forward to your next pack. All right, next up, we have got Lockdown. Lockdown. Lockdown, this is just their third pack ever. So they were a rookie, um, what, last season for their single pack season. And they now. Co coming into the day, yeah, with 13, is that what you just said? 13, yeah. yeah. So very impressive. Let's see it. Here we go. We've got the Eyeball Energy, the Heat More Yamper, Torcat. Toracat, Grubbin, Energy Capsule, Iron Hands, Heavy Baton, the Beldum. Oh, oh there's, there's the, the Sauce, sauce Bug! Yes! Oh man, we know that's a good one. Followed by the Coridon. Man, look at that. We pulled two in two weeks. I know, unbelievable. And we got the got the full we should we should uh stick the deerling next to the Sauce Buck there to, to show well, like who the pulled pull. It? I can't even remember. Let's see. I think oh, I it found was, this. I did found you? Right here. Yep. Bay positive? Bam. Bay positive. Here we, we go. go. Yep, so you don't get them mixed up, but yeah. you can see how don't like the little twisted. the little deerling is like running over and, and Yeah, look at like all connects up. And That's so good. That is really cool. Very fun. Yeah. Okay. Right, I'm gonna put this back here before I, it was bay positive. Bay positive. Okay, so the Saws buck is a little bit more valuable. Comes in at 8.44, so nine, nine points. Ten. Ten points. Ten total. All right, lockdown up to 23 on the season. That's very solid. They're having a great right season there. so far. Yeah. And next up, we've got Sean. Sean. Sean, who's coming in. This is just their third pack ever, too. So another former rookie, or recent rookie of last season. 
Coming in for their sophomore season here. There we go. Oh, we got the dark here. Oh, drop, with the so multiplier. I'm sorry to hear uh -oh. about the. Uh, uh oh, we're we gonna hit the mel metal. Yeah, oh, it's almost no. certain. The rock rough, the litten, the shroomish, the lickitung, the salvator, the bronzong, the exadrill. Double checking for randomly chosen. Totodile. The hey, a sauce, sauce bug. bug. There it is. And hey, oh, the like, gouging fire. There we go. That could be something. It's way better than a mel metal. Well, it is way better than a Mel Metal. Yeah. Um, it is the second highest card on the front page. Hey. So, you know, we'll give it that behind the Iron Leaves from before. Uh, $1.24 will round up to two. Which multiplies so to four. Four. There way to go, go, Sean. There you Making go. moves. Still about a thousand times better than the Mel Metal. That's right. Yeah. There we go. All right, Gouging Fire coming your way. Next up is our first rookie of the day contender. It's Huffle Dub. Huffle Dub. Huffle Dub. Let's see what they can do. This is our first pack ever. I think it's you. The bam. Here we go. Let's see something big. Huffle Dub. Can they go huge? Can Huffle they pull something Dub. massive? Huffle Dub. Feels like we could be due for something big. It could be. Know. It could be. I'm pulling for you. Bam. Metal energy. No multiplier yet. And the Huffle Puff of the year. Carvana. Lick a tongue. Palafin. Screamtail. Heavy baton. Turtwig. The eerie. And the incineroar. Man, I do love some incineroar. I so know. That. One eighty-seven. It's one of Ben's favorites in Smash right now. It is two dollars forty-seven cents. We'll round up to three. three Points. So three points, and you know, honestly, for for um, rookie of the day, sometimes that'll do it. Last sometimes week it was will. seven, uh, but we've we've seen it. Uh, I think the the first the first showing of this season, I think four won yeah. the day. So, okay. So three, three, I'll, it, it could work. They could do it. They could do it. They've got two other rookies to compete with today, so we'll just have to keep an eye on it. Next up is Rachel W. Rachel W. Here we go. It's coming in with one point, so maybe someone who's hunting for the Mel Metal. All right, let's see. So no multiplier. No multipliers at all. Pine Off. Pine Co. Ma Wild. Oh, the Metatide right. scores, though. Oh, because of the, oh my random. gosh, you're right. Yeah. There we go. Okay, good. Oh, save. Rachel's good save. not liking that. The Ferretris, the Vikavolt, the Latias, the Electivire will not score. The Bronzor will not score, oh, and the, the Roaring, Roaring Moon. Moon. It's gonna be two points, so it's gonna be a three-point pack. Doing Rachel W to four on the season. Probably wasn't hoping to see that Metatite or even a dark rare card because that no. both working against her last place contention. That's too bad. Too that bad. Is, but that sometimes that's just the way the cards fall. That is. That is. All right, let's see. Next up, we have got that's telekinesis. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's telekinesis. we've got we've got Kyle McCune and uh, just we, we've written in parentheses that's telekinesis, Kyle. I, I literally was about to make this joke because I saw on my scoreboard that Kyle was coming up next, yeah. and I was about to be like, I'm so clever because of the reference to the Tenacious uh, D song. Past us is way ahead of you, Ben. I know. It turns out we're, we're just, I don't know. Uh, Kyle was one of our all-time rookie of the day, scoring they are 40, 40 points on their, on their rookie pack. On their debut. Yeah. All right, let's see. They have only got two points so far this season. They had a fantastic breakout performance of that 40, but since then, they've just seen packs of three, two, one, and two. So okay. Hopefully okay. return to form here. Yeah, let's see it All right, for Kyle. Let's see it. We have Electric. So we have the Knockdown, the Crocodile, the Licky Licky, the oh, Miss Energy something, Sandy Shocks, the Behem, the Drample. The will score. Oh, will it? I believe it's a rare. Oh, it is. You're right. Wow, good catch. The Bolton. Oh, oh! And a critical hit. Okay. On the Drampa, so that's going to be what? One, two, three, four. Eight. Eight. Wow. wow. Oh, there you go. A hard fought, kind of derpy you, eight. You rarely see the critical hit on the rare cards, but today we did. But today we did. Man, Man how about that? How about that? Yep, that's pretty fun. And the Mist Energy, pulling some weight there. And the good news is, is that if this had been a rare card, there's no way you would have missed this one as a rare card. Because Yeah, that's we true. We would have caught we it. We would have caught it. Yeah, yeah. Drampin was like, don't forget about don't me. Don't forget. Old man dragon in the woods. All right, next up we've got Bourbonator, another crowd favorite. All right, Bourbonator, I'm pulling one of our, our backpacks for you. This, backpack is, this is magic. the show we should go on tour with now that I'm, if only we could get everyone who plays in the same room. Exactly. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, no one would care. I know, it'd be so funny, like, all right, where's Bourbonator? Where's Bur There they are! There they are! Yeah. And they got a bourbon! Yeah, we need Box Breaker Con. Box Breaker <laughs> For the the 150 people who play. There you go. All right, so we got our lightning bolt energy. We got the hoot hoot, the beldum, the heat more, the roly coly, the enfazant, the perilous jungle, the senta scorch, the turtinator, the oh the senta scorch critical there hit. There we go, the critical hit on the Macardo. Oh, no. oh my gosh. Butts on face, you guys. That is just two 
points. Just two points on Man. the cargo. So many critical hits today. So many spikes by the I rare know, cards. I know, it's just not turning out. I, honestly, the fact that the Macargo is, like the Sento Scorch feels like it's got more rare card like vibes to it, it does. than the Macargo. Well, Sento Scorch is one of my other favorite Pokemon, I will tell you. Even the Turdinator, this know. is a common a card. Great fire pack at the very least, you know. I know, I know. Double Sento Scorch, Macargo, Turtonator. Oh well. You never know. Only two points. Even though cool cards. Alright, next up we have Palo Azul. Palo Azul! Here we go, coming in the day with also just two points, hoping for something big. ER Nurse. That's oh, very work. impressive. Yeah, that's sounds like a cool. sounds like a stressful uh, stressful job. So maybe you're coming home from a, a long shift and you're settling into your cozy couch and Man. and watching on your big screen. We've been working in healthcare for over ten years, so <laughs> bravo, that's awesome. Well, thank oh! you to you. And a multiplier for ya. Let's see if we can make a pay off or if we're gonna hit another Mel Metal. All right, Charger Bug, Slugma, Solosis, Skitty, Iron Valiant, Sandy Shocks, Reuniclus, the Bramblin, the Finizen, and the Incineroar! the Incineroar! I and know. the It's like, if it's not Mel Metal, it's Incineroar. How about Just that? Just hilarious, which is also on Ash's same team with the Mel Metal. There you go. Fun well, fact. Yeah, so still a front pager, 63 cents. We'll round up to just one point times two is two points. Oh. Apollo Azul, who unfortunately, not scoring a lot of points, but getting that full art card. There so. you go. There you go. Thanks Rather. again for being an ER nurse. Yep. There you go. Next up, we've got Jess. Jess! Jess, who is, uh, this was our best rookie performance ever, I want to say. Because they pulled the 229, 231? Oh, but the, you know what? This was before I think we were doing the rookie. Rookies? Oh, uh, you're right. Maybe you're right. Oh, possibly so. Mm -hmm. Cause they I, pulled I, that alt Lugia, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that's so funny. I'd be so curious. Because I was literally just talking about Kyle <laughs> being like our, like our all-time top finisher. But mm. I may have misspoke. There we go. So we got the Fireball Energy, the Charger Bug, the Slug Buh. Slug Buh. The Slug Buh. Slug Buh. The Solosis, the Skitty, the Screamtail, the Zara Aura, the Iron Valiant, the Fluttermane Flutter will Ooh. score, the Dunsparce will not. Oh, oh the Scizor! There we go. Look I won't that sign one. that one for you because yeah. it's you know, all full arty and stuff. Don't want to like you know tamper with the value of anything else. Let's see. So number one ninety five on this hit's our first one, Jay. Hey, it's gonna be two dollars sixty three cents. We'll round up to three. So three plus one is four, which means four point packs back to back for Jess for a total of eight on the season. It's Jess. It's Jess. Excuse me. All right, next up is our next rookie of the day contender. It is Prism, All who right. loves drawing and looking and Phalanx is their favorite Pokemon. Oh, how about that? All right. I don't well, think Prism, there is a Phalanx in this set. We're looking for three or more points to be in contention for that Olive Garden gift card. I think, I think he's got it. You we'll feeling see. good about I'm this? Feeling good. I think okay. this is at least a four-point pack. Okay, eyeball, eyeball energy. energy. Matang is going to score, so we're already at two. Good start. Grottle Finn is in Rapidash, the Bolt and the Mudsdale, the Explore, the Walking oh! Wake! Oh, that's a gold Walking Wake. I told you guys, that's got to be more than... That's at least three points, but clearly it's going to be more. Wow, look at that walking wake. Pulling the gold card on their rookie. This is a day for rookies, man. It is a day for rookies. So $10.43 on that walking wake. Man, round up to 11. 11. 12, 13. 13 points for Prism. Well, Way uh, to go. Unfortunately for Huffle Dub, they were just ousted by a whole 10 points I there. I know, well, but it not, can't say for certain, but so far Prism is heading to the Olive Garden with their, with their gift card. Yes, so. congratulations, Man. that's a great pull. And Always, you gotta, gotta love to see a gold. Look at that gold card, that's amazing, I love it. We haven't we haven't seen any ace specs from the box yet. No, either, we man. haven't, which means there could be like, you know, maybe one, Something, two in there. A couple of big five, ones, two, you know? You know. You two, five? <laughs> my, my, my daughter Addie she keeps saying, just three. Just three? And she holds her hands like this. Just three. And I'm like, is that three? Sort of, you know, from an angle, a certain angle. Just yeah. Three. Just three. Yeah. Just three. All right, My next. Yes, next up we have Andy. Andy. Coming in with two points. Big fan of all of your toys. Yeah, right? Huge fan. All right, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we got, we got lightning the lightning energy. bolt energy. We got the turtonator, the hoot hoot, the beldum, the heat more, the great test, the bronze on, ancient booster energy capsule. The iron right. hands will not score. The scream tail will not score, and the iron valiant wow. to close it, out. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing else there. going you on. You did get a. The both of your reverse hollows are in ancient and future, so you got that sort of cool uh, foil effect going. That is very cool. <laughs> yeah. Still only going to be one point. <laughs> yep, yeah, just one point for the iron valiant there. But well played either which way. 
to A and B. There you go. Better luck next time. Better luck next time, indeed. In the meantime, just enjoy your toys, you know? Enjoy the toys. Don't right. forget about them. Don't send out to the attic. Double right. check that bag before you take it to the donation spot. Right, you know? Make sure make sure mom doesn't mistake it for garbage. Garbage. Alright, next up is Shauna. Shauna! Who is coming in at one point. One so point I didn't for write Shauna. down their uh, one cent, their one point value. Okay. Which makes me think that maybe it was like a like a high value one like, point like or something. Like a competitive one pointer, like but we'll see. Point, yeah. At this point, I mean, I think scoring three one pointers in a row is still such a challenge, but the miss energy is gonna completely gonna take screw it. Screw you. Sauce Buck, Cypher Maniac, the Rock Rough, the Excadrill, and the Whimsicott. Oh, so three ah. points for Shauna. Three for Shauna. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Now, Ben, who is currently in the team lead? Is it electric or water? Uh, currently, fire. fire is actually in the team lead, followed by water. So. Followed by water. Yes. Let's see. Okay, Why well, so Shauna switched from electric to water this season. Okay, well, currently, electric's in fourth place out of four. Apparently, so that was a good call. Shauna's yeah. reading the current, you know? Exa yes, yes, precisely, precisely. There it is. All right, next up, we've got Dalton Gray. Dalton Green. That's a nice, easy word, isn't it? Gr Grain. No, yeah. no one can say it. Kind of hard to pronounce. It's the Dalton. double E's that really throw exactly. people off. Right? Yeah. Green. 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 Dalton Green, uh, arrival of Blue Swede, who's coming into the day with 17 points. Dalton Green, not Blue Swede. Dalton Green. Yeah. 17 Dalton. points. 17 points. Coming into the day. We got 14 it. water. We're all there. We're on the same page. Same page. We can open Ooh. the pack. Here we go. Be gentle. Be gentle. We're gonna break. Me and we're being a little klutzy today. So the rock is pummeling energy. Let's see. What do we got? Bronzer, the mighty animal score, the duosian, the, the haunter, cybermania, the sauce buck is back, the perilous jungle, the shroomish, the carvana, and the relicant. Oh, so three points. Three point pack, gonna bring them up to twenty on the season. But not the worst place to be in. Not I mean, the worst you're, place you're, to be. Like I would say that puts Dalton Green like a quality position for like a like a potential. I mean, a strike on Big Steve might be kind of tricky with Big Steve at like 49 points, but uh, maybe like a quality 8th place. It could be, it could be. I mean, there 20 points is like good than if you hit the big pack, like you have a good buffer to like stay in the lead. That's true, that's yeah, true. but yeah. relies on that last pack. All right, next up we've got Mark, our former Rookie of the Day. Okay, all right. Last month, they were, uh, yeah, that's exciting. Big, big past uh, rookie pack. Oh, they have three Harry Potter tattoos, it says here. How about that? Man, well, maybe they should get a sauce buck one. Everyone's most memorable and favorite Pokemon. An abundance of sauce buck. An abundance of sauce buck. There All right, so we go. got the Electabuzz, the Bramblin, the Girafferig, the Roselia, the Sharpedo, the Metagross, the Razorade, the Ponytail will not score, the Meltan will not score, and then uh, the, the Dunsparce. Dun wow, just one. So just from one rookie point. of the day to down to a single. Point. I feel like we've been seeing a lot of this pony dot today. Yeah, yeah. I, I, maybe it's just a big horse day. Maybe well, it's a big horse, horse day. I guess. I guess deer are not horses. They're not. Yeah. Yeah. I, I made that connection in my head. Animals that look like horses slash deer day. Yeah. Four-legged <laughs> animals. There we go. All right. Next up, we have heartbeat. Let's see, he's coming in with one point at 41 cents, so... Okay, so I think I we mean, currently have someone with less than 41 cents at two points. I think so, I think they're like even even below 20 cents, so they're gonna, if they want last place, they need a one-pointer here, hopefully the Mel Metal, and then also to go again and just hope everyone else whiffs. That's exactly it, so... Let's see, Eyeball Energy, that's the start they want at least, the Cutie Fly, the Drill Bird, the C Dot, a misprint, what is this? Roller cola. Okay, it doesn't look like it makes any difference. That was weird. That was Bahim, weird. Ancient booster energy capture the rapid. Oh, the roller cola. <gasps> Critical hit on the roller cola. So not going to be the uh, last place finish. Rabs. Oh, Rabska and the Feraligator. The Feraligator. Okay, so just a two nice. point Feraligator for Heartbeat. So really, maybe not exactly what they were what they were looking for in terms of last place, but maybe that just is going to get them all primed up for a big strong finish at the end there. Kind of funny that we got the critical hit on the I card know. that was flipped. Yeah, that what that is. Weird. Like, was that an extra? Is there more cards in this pack? No, I counted the energy. Oh, you counted the energy. Do, do they count the energy as part of the 10 cards? I would think so. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll just count again. We'll double check. We'll double check. We should again, do these Again, things. you think we know. You think we know. We just do this every single time. Uh, next up, Mod Squad Data Rage. Data Rage! Here we go. Coming in with four points on the season. We know Data has it in her to pull some big stuff, but. 
hasn't done so in a while. All right, let's see what we can do for data here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Aside, we got the metal energy, we got the roly coly, the Azumarill, the Yamper, the Grubbin, the Iron Treads, the Buddy Buddy, buddy, buddy. Poffin, the Zera, or oh! oh, the Maximum Bell! That's awesome! There we go, the, the Behem, and the Feraligator! Oh, wow, back to back for alligators. that's amazing. All right, let's check out that, ma that Maximum Belt, number 154 on the set. It's gonna be worth fourteen dollars seventy three cents. So that'll be wow. 15. fifteen plus three is gonna be eighteen. Nineteen points. Nineteen points for data rage. There well you go. done. Twenty three on the season. You want to uh, bleep out oh, that we for do. alligator yes. for Sorry. you? Sorry, we're gonna send you a family, uh, a non family friendly for alligator. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. All right. That can go right in your binder, which I know you have, because I've seen it. All right. A spec number one out of the way. Next up, we've got Moss Twig. Bam, just coming in with six points on the season. Also, I did count, and there was not an extra roly coly. Okay, okay, yeah. good to know. It good just to happened know. to be upside down, so I don't know what happened there. Just the assembly line magic happening. Yep, yep, that's what happens. But even if it had been, that's just, you know, that's part of the randomness. Who knows? <laughs> All right, here we go. Metal Energy again. Pikachu, the Gastle Score, the Elgium, Sizzlepeep, oh, the Zaunt. Peeking out. Oh, there. I think you're right. We have the Cenoscorch, the Palafin, and the Reboot Pod, which oh. we know from last week is not exactly the best A spec, but it will score. Frost Moth will not, and the Iron Thorns will. Let's double check the Reboot Pod. Let's do it, number 158. That's more like $3 I or think something. think you're right. Yeah, $2.79, so three. three. four, five. Five points. Not quite the A spec you were looking for, but still pretty cool to get one. Pretty cool to get one, indeed. And that's, it's wild that like there's been like that consistency of about two per box. Yeah, two per box. per box, yeah. So we, 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 we wouldn't expect to see one, except maybe if we go for some Backpack Magic. Oh, Backpack uh, Magic! So the the first one? The second one. Second okay, one. I you're one earlier. One. Yeah. So the, the backpacks are kind of interesting because we, uh, whenever we're ordering all of our packs, we do it in a variety of different ways. This time, instead of having a couple of extra booster boxes for all of our <coughs> bonuses, we got some individual booster packs, which like completely shakes up the pull rates entirely. So Emerald is sort of like a, a, an interesting territory. Here. Yeah, uh, Emerald is here. Emerald's our next contestant, and uh, like a, an extra A spec would be awesome in this capacity. However, Emerald's got five cents on the season and um, one point so okay. emerald's really hoping for like the mel metal here to take the lead in last all right so let's see we got the solosis mm -hmm. the skitty yep. the electabuzz the bramblin the roserade the exadrill the keldeo the nuzly will not score oh the haunter, haunter will. Oh, oh my no. gosh and, and the, the dumb sparse oh this would have been so good if not for the haunter oh man so two points for emerald phoenix i'm sorry emerald i was trying my best I for you to there the last card too that is a real man. bummer man there we go well, that's gonna bring you to two points and three on the season. So better luck next time. Yeah. Maybe just go for a big, big hearty pull. Enjoy your haunter. It's an eight times multiplier, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of big pulls, next we've got Brooke. Brooke. Brooke, a, a champion in her own right who actually finds herself in the exact same position Emerald did this season. One point. Five cents. Maybe this is the pack Emerald wanted, but this is gonna hurt more because I know you pulled the backpack for Emerald. For Emerald, so. yeah. <laughs> Actually, wait, wait. So that being oh, said, here, oh, you know, do, do right. this one. Oh, you're right. Because this, this is the one Emerald would have had. Wow, you're like trying to throw salt in the wound. I know. Or watch it be massive because it's Brooke now. Oh no, I don't even know. I don't know what I'm hoping for. I just, you know, I want the best for everyone. Let's see, what do we got? Bam, eyeball energy. energy. So I guess we're hoping for low cards here. Right. Cutie fly, Drillbur, Relor. Right. Ponyta, Keldio, Iron Dragulus, Delmise, Palafin, the Medicham, and the Bramble Gas! So oh, it is in man. fact a really low value pack that Emerald might have had. Five cents. For it's the five Bramble cents! Gas. Yeah. Oh my god, so. that is gonna put Brooke unbelievably in a commanding last place lead. Wow. I'm pretty sure. Wow, With wow, wow. 10 cents total and two points. Can she carry it forward that into is... week three? Truly, truly horrid and amazing in the same way. So now I'm gonna okay. open the pack that you almost <laughs> opened. Now. So now we're now what if this one is what Emerald? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah. So uh, it, it, we're, we're gonna find out. We're gonna oh find out. Gosh, so who's right. it for? It's for Stacy. For Stacy. Okay. Stacey. Oh gosh. Okay, Emerald's just like rolling over. He's like, why do you even watch the show? 
Jesus, come on. Sorry, I'm sorry, dude. Making it worse in every single way. Emerald is a middle school science teacher. High school science? Is middle, a science teacher? Is a science teacher. Is a science teacher. So just shout out to teachers everywhere. Though, there we go. Because there we go. You know what? That's amazing work. Crafting young minds. Yes. We got the Toda Dial, the Deerling, the Pied of, the Pineco, the Bolton, the Mudsdale, the yeah, Explorer's the Guidance, the Ekans will score, <coughs> the Roserade will not, and the Dedensparce. Dedensparce, wow. Okay. It would have been the same. It would have been the same. Yeah. Even the Dedensparce is what, wow. Oh That's my gosh. Crazy. That's amazingly similar outcome. It is. All right. So, okay, so Destiny. To, Destiny was calling Destiny and was we calling. answered. There it is. So. Three sort of dud packs in a row, but there you go. All right, next. So that's going to be uh, two points on the day for Stacy. Ten on the season. Next up is our final rookie of the day. It's Son of Dathomir. Dathomir. Here we go. All right. So what are they looking to be? Thirteen points. They were trying to beat that golden walking lake. A Thirteen points is a tall order for Not a rookie. Not, we've seen it done. What's I mean, our highest point? Is that the highest one today? No, nineteen. We had the max belt. We got the nineteen for Data Rage. Yes. And I think Data has got is our points leader for the day. Points leader for the day. Let's see. Oh, Dark it, could okay. it could happen. It could happen. So now, now all they need points wise is seven. Mr. Mime, Raju, Sharpedo, the Metagross, the Roserade, the Victini, the Hoot Hoot, and the Iron Crown. Oh, oh my God! This could be really close because this is a very usable card, and even its base one might be good, and the multiplier could really help. Seven, seven dollars. $8.86. No, nice! That's gonna be an 18 point pack! Oh Whoa. my gosh. That is, and the multiplier made the difference because otherwise they would have fallen short to the walking wake. Unbelievable. That's crazy. Who you can't write this stuff up. So, Prism prisms. Is, uh, we had so much confidence at the beginning of today with Huffle Dub's three point pack. We were I like, know. We were like, like you, you can, can do it! it. Nope. Like, nope. So then Prism came in with 13. Dathomir takes it home. That was the last rookie of the day with 18 points. 18 Unbelievable. Points. I, I, it's well, so funny. It's like, all I need is seven. I know. I'll make a little note here for you, rookie of the day, just so we know. Oh, congratulations. Fun competitive card headed your way. Excellent play. Glorious moment in our day. All right, next up, we have got former champion Chase. Chase. Here we go. Okay. And can he bring it back? Because right now it's only at three points, so he's gonna need something big, and it's not impossible. We haven't had like the big illustrator from this pack yet. Okay. We've had two ace packs, we've had a gold, but it feels like there might be one more huge thing in there. Will that deerling not count? I don't think that would count. Oh, mm. Altart? Maybe? Maybe, I don't know. Okay, okay, we'll find out. We saw the sauce buck and the deerling today. But we haven't seen, I don't know, we'll just okay. see. Okay. I still feel like there's one more. <laughs> We got the Chitat, the Cottony, the Carvana, the Ekans will score, the Electivire, the Chinchino, the Sableye will score, the Vika Volt will not, the Grotto will not, um, and the, the Coridon. So just so one. a three point pack for former, cha former champion Chase. There we go, so three and three. Three and three is gonna bring them to six on the season. Well done, well done. Next up we've got Vinyacor, Vinyacor? Vinyacor. Vinyacor. Yep, here we go. They're at five points on the season. They collect Pikachu and Pika clone cards. Okay, okay. There is right. a Pikachu in this set. There are, so maybe we'll pull that for you today. We'll see. Yeah, Team Electric as well, so... Oh, man, it makes sense. It all it tracks. Sense. All right. Ooh, and we're on the multiply. Okay. Love that. We've got Meryl, also a Pikachu clone, so there you go. Uh, Gola, Dunspar, Snom, Eerie, Colossal, the Boxed Order, Metatite will score, Mawile will not, and, and Coridon will score, but will it be valuable? I don't think so. No, 43 cents for that one. So, so. it's just going to be a four point pack when four. all is said and done for Vinicor. That is going to bring them to nine on the season. There we go. There you go. And you got a Pika clone. Well, did, mm, Meryl, do you count Meryl? Or is it Pichu for that generation? I don't know. Mm. I think Meryl counts. Okay. You ask me. You would know better than me. Anyway. All right, next up is Christy C. Christy C. I remember before Gen 2 came out, everyone was like, Pika Blue, Pika Blue. That's what they used to call it. Oh, and there was like a, That was like a lot of like internet search. It was like, how to get Pika Blue and whatever. And it's like, that's not even its name. Although I think it would have been a better name. Than Meryl. Than Meryl. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Meryl. Meryl. <laughs> we got the Victini, the Bronzor, the Mudbray, the Ghastly <laughs> will score, the Exadrill, the Keldeo, the Delmize, the Licky, uh, Licky, Licky Licky. Licky Licky. Oh, oh the Excadrill. Oh, oh, and, and it's a critical hit. It is a critical hit. Yes, indeed. There Boom. we go. 
All right. Wim's got to close out, so let's see number 174 on the set. Let's see what that does for us. Love to see the illustrators be the source of the critical hit because they multiply their own point value in that, in that way. Yes, yes indeed. Yes, so let's so. see. <clears throat> so we've got the uh, Exadrill, is gonna, Exadrill rather, I always get that wrong, uh, it's 226. Okay, it's gonna be three, four, five times two is 10 points. 10 points, not so bad for Christy C. Bam, you love to see it and you get the extra drill coming your way. That's always so exciting. So many critical hits today, I can't I, believe it. I love it. it though, I love it. It's my favorite, it's my favorite rule that we've added. I know, yeah, it's a really good one. It's a really good one. All right, next up we've got Hannah, who I wanna say is in like second place, right? Uh, yeah, they're 68 at, points. Yeah, they're at 68 points. Uh, oh, so they're in third. In third. Braun has 71 with two packs. Wow. So we're going to see if Hannah can get at least three to recover that, that number two position. Well, let's see if I was correct. I, there's five packs left. I, I predicted there was still a big a big money card left. Okay, so okay. That gives you, if, if I'm right, wow, voice crack, then you've got a 20% chance of this being the one. This could be it. But, you know, that's all. A lot of conjecture. All right, Mawile, the Metatite will score the Turtonator, the Colossal, Perilous Jungle, Umpazant, Azumarill, the Keldeo, and the... Oh. Oh, I was super dead wrong about this particular pack. Dang, so that's just be. two points, meaning Hannah is one point off of second mm. place. So it's gonna be a huge battle if, if uh. nothing else changes between now and then going into those final packs there, so... All right, we'll have to keep an eye out, but enjoy your Mel Metal. Enjoy it's your the Mel worst metal. rare card you can pull. Yep. <laughs> So one of them has to be. All right, four packs to go. We've got Anselman. Anselman. Coming up. They've got five points on the season. Okay. Whew. What are we going to do? Let's see here. Let's see here. we got the got the uh, raucous pummeling the energy pummeling. there. we got the Turk Wig. The Poochie Animal will score. The Wiglet. The Arbok will score. The Great Tusk. The Morty's Conviction. The Shiftry will, will score. score. The Tor Cat will not score. The Rapidash, which is just like a deer, you know, yeah, right. will not score. And the Iron, Iron Thorns, Thorns will close so out. So one, four two, three, four points. points. For Anselman, coming up to nine, meaning they're looking to crack into double digits with their third pack of the season. It'd be hard not to. It'd be hard not to. Because <laughs> math. All right, next up, it is Ben's probable sister-in-law, Sammy. Sammy! Let's see how she doing. She's only got uh, two points on the season so far. Whoop, here we go. But as as I said, you know, there's still a money pack in here, guys, for sure. Exactly. A thousand yeah. percent. JJ is definitely... 33% chance that this is it. This if is it. it exists. Okay. Here we go. Come on, Sammy. Take those Bam. odds. Fireball. Mudbread. It's like a deer. Minchina. Rockruff. Litten. Screamtail. Sableye will score. Iron Valiant will not. Knockdown will not. Bramble Gasp will. Oh, it's a critical hit! There we go! What? Told you. Total money. Totally. So one, two, three times two is six. Six point pack for Sammy. There you go. There you go. Three go. times better than last time. Eight on the season. Season. There we go. There we go. All right. Well, that means we're down to 50-50 territory 50 -50. here. Let's see who's gonna get it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna feel bad if it's not. If there isn't one. All right. We've got Trevor. Trevor coming in today with six points. So there it'd be go. interesting. So Sammy came in with two and scored six. So it'd be interesting if Trevor came in with six and scored two. And well, that'd be funny. It would be funny. But there's also a 50% chance this is a huge. This is a money card. pack. Yeah. Well, based on nothing other than our own than assumptions. Our, yeah. All right. So we've got the Fireball Energy, the Finizen, the Dunsparce, the Snom, the Scyther, which Dan signed for you, the Electivire, the Chinchino, the Great Tusk, the Raichu will not score, the Solosis will not score, and the Drampa. is just a single. Point so just one point, so not even exactly what I said. It was the it was even less, unfortunately. So but Trevor they did get the scyther. You got the scyther yeah, signed yeah. by Jay, which there is yeah, it's a, it's extra special. It's adding value to it, probably. M maybe you know? so, yeah. Maybe. But otherwise, one point. <laughs> All right, we're down to our last. Pack. As far as I can tell, this is last pack magic, guaranteed almost. Guaranteed. Right? Another this, Lauren. This is for oh, I almost dropped it. That would've been so bad. Another Lauren loves dark types. How serendipitous, because this is week three of dark type season, I guess. Yes. And last pack magic potential. Last pack magic coming in with just two points. Can another Lauren do it? Let's find out. We've got the metal energy. We've got C Dot, Totodile, Deerling, Piddle, Bianca, Reuniclus, Explorer, Mudbray, Like a Deer, Chadot, and Maridon. Last pack tragic. Oh, oh, just one point for another Lauren. Wow. Round it off to for see it. Three on the season. I was wrong, guys. Unfortunately. I misled you. Unfortunately. I, you know what? It built hype, though. It did. And very important. 
people people were like, should I stick around to the end? They're like, it's worth it. It's worth it. The guys yeah. think something could happen. Yeah. Um, you gotta have faith, guys. You gotta, you gotta have, have faith. faith. You gotta have faith. What cool. is opening things at random if not a game of faith? All right. So who was our, who who scored the most points today? Was it Data Rage at nineteen? Yes. Yeah, so so Son of Dathomir had eighteen. Eighteen for rookie Data, of the day. Data Rage edged him out with nineteen. Wow. So a rather competitive field. I feel like the um, <clears throat> the average score. Uh, like not not accounting for like outliers or anything yeah. was like a bit on the higher side. It does seem it like it seems it, like yeah. we were hitting. We're, we had very few like one point <coughs> packs on the whole, just a small handful, but not where we wanted them in any of the instances. So I don't think. Well, no, okay, I'm sorry, Brooke. Brooke did have that showing of two five cent cards today. So. That's true. That was impressive. Yes, was a ten cent uh, lead. Yeah. So Brooke has been a former champion and is now in a strong position for last place. She's like, I'm done top of the chart. You know, I don't. Need to do that again. I'm going for the bottom of the chart. Precisely. Now, you know? Precisely. High highs, high lows. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There's rewards either way. There is. Yeah, guys, as ever, if you would like for us to open a pack for you in the future, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlin gaming and selecting any of the box breakers tiers. Link to that in the description down below. Otherwise, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!